guys, it's Matt Von Nerf again, and uh, today I'll be reviewing the Nerf AccuStrike Alpha Hawk. Um, it's about four years, three, four years old, and it's from the AccuStrike series, as you can tell, um, and it claims greater accuracy. Um, but it's not actually the blaster that makes it accurate, it's the darts. Um, I do have a fresh pack of Aki Strikes here, official Aki Strikes. And if you look, the tip of the dart has a kind of spiral effect. I doubt that's what makes it accurate. I think it's more down to the flat tip that stops it from deviating it just flies in more, more straight line um, it's a five shot revolver as you can see there a revolver um, similar to the spectre and the long arm um, you can effectively make it like a stupidly long long arm by removing this stock which is all one piece and just comes out but um, it has one tactical rail on the top with a little tactical tip there to slide on whatever you want and there's a small tactical rail across the bottom um, so you can attach I don't know, a bipod or a flashlight or whatever you want the one weird thing I thought about it when I first got it was there's a front sight, but nothing on the back. So you haven't got your two points of reference to aim. But I did manage to print off a rear diopter, an MP5 style diopter. And that fits on just right. And it actually does make it so that you can aim it properly. It's got a nice textured rubberized grip. My hands are moderately sized. I'm like a large in gloves, so yeah. They're not huge, they're not like giant monster hands, but they're yeah, they're reasonable man sized hands. And that's quite comfortable, especially with the rubberized grip. Um you might have guessed it's a springer. And this is completely hollow. There is literally nothing down there, so it just basically, like a, it's it's almost like a, you could hack the front off, and it'd be and then take the back off, and you'd end up with basically a side um, bolt action um, spectre or strong arm with no front barrel, but because um, there is none. Um, you do have, I, I do believe that there are. I think it's Gavin Fuzzy who does um, barrels that will fit. Um, but I thought I'd get this review out of the way before I installed my new seven kilogram spring. Stock it comes with about 2.4 or 2.5 kilograms. That's seven, so it should be a dramatic increase. There's really not a lot I can say bad about this blaster apart from in stock form it's not great a lot of people when modding it hack off these with a hacksaw which is completely pointless because there's a tiny little hole and if you pop a screwdriver in there and lift it you can wiggle these out and then unscrew it all of the, the hundreds of screws are in there and um, it's a very simple mod to do. The spring is really simple to replace. Um, it's not Kronos simple, but it's pretty simple. Um, it's got a nice, nice little hand rest there. The shoulder stock is really nice, and it, it does tuck in quite nicely. Um, what else can I say about it? It's awesome. 
I love it. It just looks spectacular. Even though there's no deco on that side. But it does look really, really nice. It's got that sort of sci-fi blast look about it. It's fantastic. It's really one that can be modded to make look awesome. But I'll probably end up putting a scope on there once I've got my seven kilo spring in because it'll actually work then. Um, I will fire off five shots towards the back and you can see how poorly it performs in stock form. One nice thing, like the strong arm, is it has a return spring. So that is now primed. That's about, let's say, 35 feet. And I'm going to aim level. That wasn't accurate at all. Or that. They all seem to be drifting to the right at the moment. They are. Compensate. I don't know what happened with that one. Okay, that one fell. About 20 feet. About 20 feet. But it does only hold five shots. It does have a nice release mechanism there. I know a lot of people like to remove the ARs, but to be honest, I don't see the point. Especially not in this, because the AR is quite good and the air seal is reasonably good. It's just the barrel, or the, the cylinder itself, doesn't have a very tight fit. Um, it's very simple to reload. Just drop in your five Aki strikes or Aki fakes or any dart of your choice and then close it on up. Prime the handle. No one's reasonably accurate. That was actually going where I was aiming. Even though I'm doing it one handed. That was a bit low. That was better. So yeah, um, you can pick up refill packs of Aki Strike darts. They're definitely more expensive than Aki Fakes. Um, to be honest, I can't tell the difference. I paid $7.99 for 24, twice. Um, and then I bought 100 Aki Fakes from Out of Darts for about three pounds. And it was like, hmm, a lot cheaper to buy Aki Fakes and they perform just as well. So, the next time you see this will be when I'm taking it apart. Um, because I do intend to do a mod guide in the next week or so, at least, probably less than that. And um, I'll pop the uh, priming bars out and you'll get to see all the insides and how it all works. But I think rather than the stock two and a half kilo spring, the seven is a marked improvement. Um, if I just pop one round in for now, and then index it. Yeah. Okay. So when I prime it, nothing happens. But when you fire it. It falls out the end of the barrel, but on trigger release, 
that's when the barrel rotates. Assuming that rotates even. But yeah, I seem to be getting some trouble with a couple of shots that just don't seem to want to work. It's like the air seal's not too great. So that was much better and spot on where I was aiming. So sometimes it can behave badly, sometimes it behaves spectacularly, or sometimes it behaves spectacularly badly. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah, I think I would. Um, I picked up mine for about £20 UK because um, it was on sale and I thought why not um, same time I picked up another hyperfire for £30 but it came with two drums and 50 darts so that should be a fun one um, but definitely you need some sort of rear sight to align it properly um, it's nice having this sort of front ring and blade sight but you need something at the back you can't just rely on the, the rails to aim um, but it will have a scope on and I might even switch that uh, put a, an adapter on Picatinny so I can put a proper scope on it uh, yeah I recommend it it's, it's got a nice stock the grip's comfortable it fits into your shoulder quite well. It's it's a nice uh, nice to aim, and you don't have to chicken wing like this. It tucks right in, and they have in return is cool. Return springs are great. Um, five dark capacity does let me down a little, but it does mean that it's much more of a sleeker profile. Overall, it's if you can find one for about the same price as I did for about £20, um, it's definitely worth it. Because I think I paid about £3 for the spring. Um, and there's no need to remove the air restrictor. So... When I open it up, I'll show you where the air restrictor is, how to change the spring, and there is a tiny, tiny little hole on the uh, on the plunger tube. Just about there, there's a tiny little hole that can be sealed with just a dab of hot glue or something like that. Um, epoxy, that'll do it. Or if you're desperate, super glue. Um, just make sure that the, the plunger rod's not in at the time in case you see the plunger rod inside, that would be stupid. But um, yeah, overall I really like this. I'm not sure what I'm going to attach to the bottom rail. I might change that to Picatinny and put a proper bipod on there. Um, that to Picatinny and put a proper scope on there. But as it stands, it's pretty good. It's, it's similar in concept to the long shot. You don't buy a long shot to buy a long shot. You buy a long shot to mod a long shot. And it's the same with this really, I think. Um, it's supposed to look like a sniper rifle, which makes you think you're gonna get some good ranges out of it. Whereas you're lucky to get 40 feet. Um, that's, that's certainly under, uh, the, uh, the elite range. Um, I think it might it might perform better with um, just waffles or ordinary elite darts, um, but apparently it won't be as accurate because it's not using the accurate darts. Um, I will do a dart comparison test at some point, so there will be a difference in weight between each dart and performance. Of each dart, but for now, they also have the race book slink one that I forgot to mention. But for now, I think that is a really good looking blaster. 
certainly much better looking than the Spectre. Certainly much better than the uh, the Doomlands sub series uh, twenty something long arm. Um, but yeah, it's in desperate need of a spring upgrade, so that's why I got an extra spring, only spring for it, seven kilo. And that's the biggest I could find. There wasn't anything higher than seven kilo I could find. So um, yeah, don't. Don't go shelling out uh, um, high street stores for these because they're not worth it. You may as well buy Akifakes from Out of Darts or similar, um, or Light Take or an X Strike. They all stock Akifakes and they come in various colours. I've got purple ones. They're just the same, but incredibly cheap. Um, the foam is just as good. The dart heads are just as good. I've not had it blow off a, a dart head yet, but it might with the spring upgrade. So we'll see. But otherwise, I've been Matt. That's been my review of the Aki Strike Alpha Hall. And um, I hope to see you again soon. And hopefully it'll probably be a mod guide um finally but hope to see you again soon so hit that like button um hit subscribe and hit the bell and you'll get notified of my next upload and i do have a patreon account so i might pop that in the show more section because uh well i'm broke if it comes to buying new blasters I don't have a lot of money and I want to be able to keep doing this and buying mods uh, stuff to mod with um, and new blasters to review um, so yeah if you want to support me in any way it starts at around a dollar for the lower tier and you can then make a tier system so every even just a tiny amount just counts towards me getting another blaster to review or something new like the infamous um i won't be buying prometheus i don't think but if enough people want me to and they donate enough then i'll get a prometheus but as it stands i don't really want one um i like an infamous they look like a real pain to mod but i'd quite like an infamous just to try um but there are there are a few blasters that have come out this year that I'd really want to, to give a go on and uh, give a, a fair review of because my reviews are honest and unbiased because um, I have to pay for them with my own money. So if I buy junk, I will tell you. But overall, good blaster. TLDR, buy one. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. Hit the bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, fire protection, and have fun, guys. See you later.